Welcome to the Histology Practical. I'm Dr. Paul Lawrence Young, resident uh, histologist for the Department of Biomedical Sciences. I'm just going to give you a walkthrough today about what is found in a histology laboratory and how you approach it. So if you need to ever get to a histology laboratory, the best person you can find is actually Davy 214 Joe Triner. She is the person in charge of the laboratory and will be able to give you any assistance that you may have apart from myself. Now the lab itself um, is pretty much reminiscent of a standard laboratory that you will encounter in any hospital or any research laboratory. Um, all the equipment is generally the same kind of thing. So you'll have a number of fume hoods that will be present. You will have a number of bits of equipment like this one here. Now this is a microtome uh, and we'll deal a lot more with that in a separate um, section in a minute. What you also have will be embedding stations and embedding stations are used for um, basically what it says on the tin. You embed tissue into paraffin wax. You have a staining station, and the staining station enables you to stain up tissues using a variety of different colors to highlight specific tissues. One of the ones that you will use a lot during your time in the university will be hematoxylin and eosin, and this is set up to do that one there. We'll do a separate little section all about that one there. You can, of course, cheat because, you know, it wouldn't be science if you can't cheat. Um, this is an auto stainer and an auto stainer does what it says on the tin. Um, you place your slides in a drawer on the right hand side, push go, and it does all the staining for you over a period of about 20 minutes. And then you can take them up and just simply cover slip. So without further ado, let's get on with it and show you what happens when you do microtomy.